Joe Hill, played by Will Hawkman, has sparked a backlash among fans following his behavior in the sixth episode of Blue Blood season 13. CBS viewers witnessed cracks throughout the Reagan family in the episode, whether it be Joe clashing with his Aunt Erin, Bridget Moynihan, or brothers Danny, Donnie Wahlberg, and Jamie, Will Estes, locking horns over a case. However, fans have now voiced their own concern about a particular scene involving Joe after his aunt meddled in his own case. The moment came when Joe was less than sympathetic about Anita who was spiked at a bar. Beforehand, Erin wielded her power in the DA's office to interfere with one of Joe's cases and it was clear the aunt and nephew duo weren't going to let it go without taking it personally. Even though Aaron managed to secure extra charges against Joe's suspect, his short temper came out on Trump as he felt undermined. Plus, Aaron only added fuel to the fire by taunting Joe that his late father would have been ashamed of his behavior, which inevitably touched a nerve in the cop. However, despite his annoyance, fans aren't happy with his behavior towards an Ada who ended up embroiled in the case. The Ada was left in a perilous condition after being spiked at a bar, although Joe lacked sympathy due to his reliance on alcohol. Joe implied the Ada shouldn't have let himself be caught out in such a situation. Taking to Reddit, Blue Blood fan you slash Lifeine Wentworth was the first to vent their fury at Joe's dialogue and how it could be construed as victim shaming. They fumed. In 13 by 06. The DA who got spiked, regardless of his shady dealings, is sitting at a bar and talking to a woman who spikes his drink and Joe's reaction is he shouldn't have gotten himself into that situation. What situation? Yes he was an alcoholic but that doesn't mean he can never go to a bar again and chat up a woman. And that if he does he deserves to get spiked. TF kinda thinking is this? Sounds a lot like she shouldn't have worn that dress slash been out that late etc. But nobody calls it out because it's being said about a male. Joe PD me off a lot this episode actually but this was really uncalled for and only increases the stigma about males being victims of crimes. This was echoed by a number of the Blue Bloods fandom who took to the thread, including you slash Miss Sakyeva who added oof. Glad that I wasn't the only one that caught that. I paused the TV and sat for two minutes wondering if Head really said that. Not his finest moment tbh. Elsewhere, you slash Kagai 1955 raged, the whole episode exposed what a holes they can be. If Danny had his petulant fits with a higher ranking officer who isn't his little brother he'd find his ass out walking a beat in a uniform. And Aaron telling Joe that it's okay for Danny and Jamie to come to her office because they're his brothers but he's just her nephew so he can't was just a big FKU to his face. I think Joe's entire plot was being a jerk in that episode. You slash Bazo7 added while you slash my zero r underscore con raged, blame it on the writers. They are the ones that put words in Joe's mouth. Meanwhile, you slash Reggie underscore Barkley took aim at the show's bosses as well, the writing, to me, has been poor this season, almost jump the shark bad. This episode was merely people acting out of character to move the plot. I can't ever imagine myself being so rude to my aunt and I know her fairly well. Whether the writers will implement a lighter tone to the Reagan family's conflicts remains to be seen. However, given Joe and Aaron's hot-tempered clash in episode 6 of season 13, it seems it will take a lot for bridges to be mended. Blue Blood Season 13 continues Friday, December 2nd on CBS in the USA. 
A UK release date is yet to be announced.